Hello, this is Woo Jun from GSC at Korea University. This session is going to be about one of the most important topics you must know if you are an international student studying in Korea. We are first going to cover things what you need to do before semester begins, which includes you submitting the arrival report to GSC. The arrival report is just as it sounds. It is a, a form that reports your arrival to Korea and to Korea University. From February 15th to February 26th of 2021, you are required, this is mandatory, to submit your arrival report, a copy of your passport ID page, the one with your photo on it, and a proof of your AIC. ARC is shortened for Alien Registration Card. You can choose one of the following three options as your proof of ARC, as shown here. Appointment receipt from Sejongno Immigration Office, certificate of application for permit of stay, or a scanned copy of the front and back side of your ARC. Now I'm going to show an example of each of these three options in the later slides, so please follow along. Make sure you submit all three required documents during the designate period to GSC email written here, gsc at korea.ac.kr. Even if you are an F-type visa holder, you still need to submit your arrival report, a copy of your passport ID page, and a copy of the front and back side of your alien registration card, or in your case, a residency card. Most of you have probably entered Korea with a student visa, also known as D2 visa. When you entered with D2 visa, you must apply for an ARC below. In order to apply for your ARC, you are going to go on the website of at highkorea.go.kr. On this website, make an online reservation for the visit to Sejongno Immigration Office. You are supposed to go to Sejongno instead of other branches in Korea, regardless of your place of residency in Korea, because Sejongno Immigration Office is the main office that manages students of Korea University. As you can see on this slide, you need the following requirements to apply for your AIC: an application form, a passport size photo, 30,000 Korean won in cash, your passport, a copy of your passport ID page, and a copy of your D2 visa page, your proof of residency within Korea, certificate of registration, or if you are applying for your ARC after the semester begins, certificate of enrollment, which you can get from the One Stop Service Center. Lastly, if it is applicable to you, a letter of invitation from NIIED if you are a KGSB student. After you apply for your ARC, please do not forget to submit your required documents to GSC. If for a reason you enter Korea or are currently in Korea with a visa other than D2, like B1, B2, or D4, you must apply for a student visa, also known as D2 visa, before the semester begins. If you have a visa that can be changed to D2 visa without having to make a departure, you can go to Sejongno Immigration Office to apply for your D2 visa and ARC at the same time. Same thing as before, you need to make an online reservation for the visit to Sejongno Immigration Office first and then you will need to prepare the following documents to submit for your D2 and ARC application. Requirements for ARC in this case are on the slide. Again, please submit the required documents during the allotted time. The next few slides will explain how you can make an online reservation to visit Sejongno Immigration Office. It is pretty self-explanatory but I'm going to briefly show you how you can do it. Go on to highkorea.go.kr and you can see the screen is shown. On the bottom, you can see the blue box saying 
reverse, reserve visit and click on it. It will lead you to this page. Select appointment reservation for non-member and click confirm. And then you're going to select the, the identification with the passport number tab and see on this image. Fill in your passport number, country you are from, and then your date of birth, and click Confirm on your bottom. As I mentioned previously, you are going to choose Sejongno branch office for the reservation. Once you click on Sejongno branch office, you are going to see this page. Click on one of the open slots and type in your proposed visit. It could be for your alien registration or to change your visa. Once you fill in this form, click Apply. If successfully confirmed, you will be able to print out the appointment receipt. Remember, this was one of the three options you could choose as your proof of AIC. Of course, make sure you go to the immigration office on the date you reserved on the receipt. Sejongno Immigration Office is located at this address. It is at a building called Seoul Global Center. Please find contact information on the slide. Once you go to the immigration office to get your alien registration completed, you will receive certificate of application for permit of stay. This form includes the date of your ARC pickup, so please make sure to go back to the immigration office on the designate date to pick up your card. Also remember this was the second option for your proof of ARC you could turn in to GSC. As you live in Korea and continue studying at Korea University, there may be a time when you need to apply for your ARC extension. And when you get your ARC issued, you will notice that it has an expiry date written on the back of the card. Here's an example. This person's ARC is for D2 visa, and on the back it says the card expires on 2020, September 30th. You can apply starting from four months prior to the expiry date written on the back of your ARC. Here are the required documents you need to bring to the immigration office to apply. Application form, passport, and ARC, certificate of enrollment and academic transcript, financial statements only if you are your average GPA score is under C or 2.0. So if you are able to get good grades, you will not have to submit a financial statement when you are applying for the extension of your ARC within your coursework period. However, if your GPA is under C or 2.0, you will need to provide a financial statement as written on the slide. Students own bank accounts in Korea with at least 4 million and 500,000 Korean won for a six months extension, or students who own bank accounts in Korea with at least 9 million Korean won for a one year extension. You will also need an application fee of 60,000 Korea won in cash and a proof of residency in Korea and tuberculosis test certificate if it is applicable to you. Now, let's say that you are an extra semester student. An extra semester student is a student who needs an extra semester to complete their coursework. Usually, undergraduate students are given a period of four years to complete their coursework. However, in some few cases, students may not be able to finish their coursework within the coursework period. In that case, you will be considered as an extra semester student. If you are an extra student semester student and you wish to extend your visa or ARC, you need, to, you need the documents from the above plus the financial statement, which in this case is mandatory as written here. Students own bank accounts in Korea with 
4 million and 500,000 Korean won for six months extension, or students own bank accounts in Korea with 9 million Korean won for a year extension. Additionally, you will need to provide an explanatory statement for extra semester form completed and signed by your department office and then at GSC in order to bring it to the immigration office. Please keep in mind that international students can study and stay only within the period approved by the immigration office as seen on the back of the ARC. Also, students, student visa for undergraduate students is valid for a maximum of eight semesters and results of permission for ARC extension may vary by individuals. As an international student with D2 visa, you are required and obligated by law to report any changes in your passport information within 14 days of the change occurrence. If changes like your name, sex, nationality, date of birth, passport number, expiry date, if newly extended occur, you have to report the changes to the immigration office. You can make an online report as well on highkorea.go.kr by clicking on e-application button. Also, if your place of residency changes, you need to report it as well. If you move to another place in Korea, that means your place of residency changed. You can report this change and you should report it within 14 days to the immigration office or the city hall or the GU office. If you live on campus and the dormitory, you are to submit the confirmation of residence or accommodation form with a signature from the dormitory and dormitory payment receipt. For off-campus housing, you need to provide a copy of the rental contract. If the rental contract is not under your own name, it is mandatory for you to submit the confirmation of residence or accommodation form along with a copy of the accommodation provider's ID. On to the tuberculosis test certificate. Remember that you are required to turn the certificate in if it is applicable to you. If you are from the following countries listed on the slide and you have not yet turned in your test certificate after March 2016, you are to go to Dobongu Public Health Center and get the test done. The location is listed on the slide. This is an important notice regarding your D2 visa in relation to the changes in your student status. If the student status changes at Korea University, the student must make a departure out of Korea within 15 days after the change occurs regardless of the expiry date written on the back of the student's ARC. Changes in student stays, status includes leave of absence, non-registration, withdrawal, and expulsion, completion, and graduation, and etc. Your ARC is valid only when you are enrolled at the university, physically residing and studying in Korea. If you took a leave of absence, meaning that you have left the university for a semester or two, and you would like to come back to the university, this process is called re reinstatement. The application period for reinstatement for international students is two months before the new semester begins. The process of applying for reinstatement is as follows. You first need to submit reform to your department office. Once your reinstatement is confirmed by your department office, they will contact to GSC and we will email you with the necessary information and issue certificate of admission and send it to you via email. You will then prepare the other documents you need to submit along with the COA and you would have received in the mail to apply for your D2 visa. After your arrival in Korea, you need to reply your ARC. As you live in Korea, you are maybe interested in working part-time. By law, 
if someone has a D2 visa, they cannot work and get paid in Korea because the visa is just for study. However, if permission is granted by the immigration office, one could work a part-time in Korea on D2 visa. Please be advised that freshmen in their first semester and extra semester students cannot apply for part-time jobs. If you are an enrolled if you are an enrolled student within your coursework period, you can apply for a part-time job. Here are the steps. Find the employment first, and then prepare the following documents. With these forms, you are going to visit to GSC to get your forms checked and your confirmation, your confirmation form signed. Apply for the permission for part-time work at the immigration office and once approved you by the immigration office, then you can start working. Students must start working only after they get permission to do so at the immigration office of Korea. Working without permission is illegal and it may lead to deportation by law. Now, here are some examples of the part-time work of foreign student confirmation form. Both forms are signed on March 8th of 2021, which is written in red font. But the one on the right is considered illegal employment. Let's take a look at when why. The one on the left says the working period is from 2021, March 22, to 2021, November 30th. This student to do the right thing by coming into the office for approval a while before they started working. However, the student on the right went to get their approval after they started working on March 5th. Please make sure you get permission to work part-time before you actually start working. Please remember to submit your required documents during the allotted time allotted period from February 5th, 15th to February 26th of 2021 to GSC's email. If you have any question regarding visa and immigration, do not hesitate to contact us by email or telephone. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.